money countering coin rods comes with one 21 inch money counting ruler with a movable sliding piece which allows students to see exactly what number they're looking at. It comes with 25 penny pieces, heads and tails, 20 nickel pieces, heads and tails, 10 dime pieces, and four quarter pieces. Now these rods are all proportional to each other. So students can start to internalize how these coins relate to each other. They will begin to see that actually two dimes and a nickel is the same value as one quarter. They will also learn that if they take the coin rods and place it directly on the money counter, the values of each of these coins, a quarter is 25 cents, a dime is 10. Now if we wanted to add the value of a quarter and a dime, we can put them on together and see that a dime and a quarter makes 35 cents. We can take this a step further and do a simple word problem. If a student has 35 cents and wants to buy something for 50 cents, how much more money would they need? Students can problem solve that a quarter is in fact too much money. A dime is not enough money and that five more cents is actually needed. Children can make that five cents by either adding five pennies or another way to make the same value would be a nickel. All of these ways make 50 cents. And now if you wanted to make a word problem using change, you could do the same thing. A child has 50 cents and wants to spend 20. Well, a dime is 10, another dime is 20. How much money is left? Students will be able to clearly see that 30 cents is left or a quarter and a nickel. The possibilities are endless. Now the whole point of using any math manipulative is to eventually not need those math manipulatives and to use real money. So a student might have begun to internalize that a quarter is worth 25 cents. And they can directly place the number, the quarter, in the coin counter counting ruler. If they know that a quarter is 25 cents and a dime is worth 10 cents, but has trouble counting on the value from 25, they can use the coin counting rod to space out 10 more cents to clearly visualize that a quarter plus a dime is now worth 35 cents. These are just a few examples of how you can use the Murph money counter and coin rods. Um, I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at murpheducation.com. Thank you.